Okay, for 7.7b, um, only do the numbers that were circled. I need to fix that. You only need to do numbers 5, 6, and 9 for the front. There's no reason to do all of these. Okay, and 11, 5, 6, 9, and 11. Um, so you're trying to find all of the missing sides and all of the missing angles. Okay, if you're using, if you have two of the sides already, you can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the third side. Please write that in reduced radical form if possible. If you um, only know one of the sides and you know the angle, you can use a trig function to find the other side. Okay, so in number five here, um, I used the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of PN, which was the square root of 445. Leave it that way. Okay. To find angle P, I said, well, I'm given opposite over adjacent, so that's tangent. So I would say tan of P equals um, 18 over 11. Take the inverse tan of both sides. Okay. And then you can either do 90 minus 58.6 or go to the other angle and say opposite over adjacent. So the inverse tan of 11 over 18 is 31.4. In number six, to find UT, again, use the Pythagorean theorem for that when you get four times the square root of 30. To find angle S, I'm using adjacent and hypotenuse, that's cosine. The inverse cosine of seven over 23 gives you 72.3 degrees. And then for U, opposite over hypotenuse, is sine, so inverse sine of seven over 23 gives you 17.7. For number nine, um, use the Pythagorean theorem. You get the square root of, I'm sorry, you get three times the square root of 47. That's a really fun answer, isn't it? Um, and then for angle E, I said I had to do cosine of 19 over 28 gives you 47.3. And for angle U, use the sine of 19 over 28, gives you 42.7. Number 11, I had to find um, two of the sides. I was given one side and two angles, so I right away I subtract 20 from 90 to get 70 for that one. To find this side, which I call WV, opposite over hypotenuse, so that's sine. To find the cosine, it's adjacent over hypotenuse. Or to find the other side, it's cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. And you get 11.3 for that. Okay. In number 13, angle of depression is up here. Again, which means it's the same angle as this one down here. So you have opposite over adjacent. It's tangent. Okay. Tangent is usually a lot for these word problems because it's the most useful in real life. Um, here... This is a suspension bridge, and look, these are all isosceles triangles, which means this line is also the median, which is also the perpendicular bisector, which is also the altitude, all those things. So all of these things are equal. So we have six of them. So find one of them by doing 52 divided by tan of 32 and multiply that answer by six to get 499.2 for that. 15 and 16 is talking about um, this ramp over here. So you have vertical rise, horizontal distance, the length of the ramp. Okay, it says that it must be less than or equal to 4.78 degrees. So they make a ramp with a 14-inch vertical rise, and the ramp is 16 feet long. I changed the model the same units. Okay, they want to know, does it meet the standards for the uniform federal accessibility standards? So i got to find what this angle is. It needs to be less than 4.78. I use the inverse sine, I get 14 over 192, take the inverse sine of that, you get that the angle is 4.2 degrees. So 4.2 degrees is um, less than 4.78, so yes, it meets the standards, okay? It says estimate the horizontal distance, so that's what I did here, 190.6 inches. I used, I just did tan of that angle. And then it says you want to build a ramp with a vertical rise of 6 inches, you want to make sure that the horizontal distance is minimized. So that means you wanna use the biggest angle you can, which is 4.78. So put 4.78 in here. They want you to find Y and Z, which I called those. So just use tangent for that. And then I used the Pythagorean theorem to find Z for that one. And then 17 through 19 is talking about this picture with the hot air balloon. This is like the problem with the hikers, okay? Don't worry about this. Again, we didn't learn the special right triangles yet. Um, so if you had decimals for that, that's okay. You get 1,039.2 feet, okay? And then you would subtract the two answers. So don't worry about 17 through 19 a whole lot because I said we didn't learn about the special right triangles yet.